Hello, my name is Adam Bean, and recently I asked myself how to retrieve um, or receive SSE events from plain Java. I had to perform the system test for a mockend, which emits server sent events, and the question is how to receive them. And actually, you can do this without any uh, external libraries, and um, I would like to show you what I did. So, um, now, the mockend is used for, um, although I use it for testing backend applications. And what I can do here, I can, for instance, um, post JSON objects, which are um, stored in a singleton, and every CRUD operation emits an SSE event. So I would like to misuse mockend to um, receive SSE events. Okay, so now um, this would be the post actions, so it seems to work. And uh, what I can also do, I can say I would like to retrieve without any buffering the SSE events. And this works with localhost 8080 and the URI, the path is SSE. So, um, and now it blocks. And if I would like to perform the, uh, the CRUD operation, oh, sorry, the POST operation again. So I will just do this and uh, try that then. Uh, I will receive here the uh, SSE event. So this is the um, command, uh, the curl command from command line. Okay, uh, now we already have the URI. So let's start with that. So what I would like to do is to create a Java URI. And uh, new URI. And the URI is going to be this one. And almost done. Var URI. And then with that, I could already create the um, HTTP request. But before we create the HTTP request, uh, we will have to create the HTTP client. So uh, I have to throw the uh, exception. And then let's create the HTTP client. And uh, there is no configuration required in our case. So I would like to have a client. So just create a client. So, and then um, we have the client, and now we will need an HTTP request. And this is the request, and I can ask to, um, now I need a builder with the URI, and then I would like to have a GET request. And then um, I can already say, please build me the request. So there are no parameters, no headers needed, so um, it is just enough var request and with that i can now send the request and this works with the client send the request and the second parameter is the um the handler of the body because what i would like actually to do is i would like to have the body and uh, this is called body handlers so there's like a factory of different body handlers oh, and what i would like to use one is called of lines and uh, this um, gives me a stream of lines which are uh, like a stream of strings and this is i would like to call this lines so in our case of course i will have to throw some exceptions but now the body here as you can see i get a stream of strings so now i could of course now perform operations, filter, whatever, but just in order to show you how it works. In theory, I would like to say for each system out and then print line. And this should receive all the lines on the fly. So if I would run the test right now, so let's try this. It should just block, which is the case. So now let me emit another event. And it was received from unit test with plain JDK 16, but it also should work starting with JDK 11. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, uh, workshops, EHX Live, um, virtual workshops, and uh, or even upcoming projects. Thank you and bye.